Nigeria vs South Africa Live Updates, How the Super Eagles Won on Penalties to Reach Africa Cup of Nations Final, Nigeria are through to the AFCON Final after beating South Africa in a penalty shootout on a night of ceaseless entertainment. William Trustacone, Nigeria's captain, put his side ahead with a 67th-minute penalty which had been won following a stunning dribble by Victor Osimhen, the Napoli star then looked to have sealed victory for Nigeria with a close-range finish in the 83rd minute, but the goal was overturned by VR and, sensationally, South Africa were awarded a penalty following a foul in the build-up. Tebaho Makona converted from the spot to make it 1-1 and the game went to extra time where both teams had chances to win it. Before goalkeeper Stanley Wobbly proved the hero in the shootout to secure victory for Nigeria. It was a big call from Jose Passero to take off Osimhen in the second half of extra time, but the Napoli striker isn't match fit. Substitute Tara Mafi came on probably thinking he'd have to take a penalty in the shootout, but his first touches of the ball saw him knock the ball into space into the penalty area before Grant Keck and his tackle got him on his left leg, causing the forward to take a tumble and miss a possible chance, VAR reviewed the tackle and then judged the foul to have happened just outside the box. Kekinu was sent off. Nigeria were awarded a free kick. So, this dramatic game went to a penalty shootout between two of the tournament's best goalkeepers. Both consulting water bottles with instructions, Mafi went first and repaid his manager's faith to give Nigeria a lead they never relinquished and send them to the final. Nobody wants to be the favorites at this AFCON, but Nigeria fans have good reason to be be confident ahead of Sunday's final. Ademola Lukman has been Nigeria's best player this tournament, but it is still Osimhen who is their most important player. The Napoli striker, who is Africa's reigning men's footballer of the year, is the outstanding individual player left in the tournament, he was a doubt on Monday due to stomach discomfort and was only cleared to travel on Tuesday. After just 30 seconds, the striker stretched to reach a through ball but, virtually untouched, went down holding his abdomen. Nigeria watched on, Anis rising in their throats, before Osimhen rose and began to jog, this has been a strange tournament for Osimhen, who, despite his undoubted class, has looked out of sorts at times. He was struggling with link-up play, having the fewest touches of any player on the pitch at halftime. Osimhen's solution? Do all the build-up himself? After 65 minutes, Osimhen picked the ball up. He evaded three defenders before spotting a corridor of space. It was Nigeria's route to the final. He burst through, provoking a clumsy challenge. Clear penalty, William Trustacone put it away. Osimhen did not score, but battling his stomach, still produced his signature moment of the tournament. South Africa have not been prolific scorers in this tournament, with their progress reliant on a defense which entered Wednesday's semi-final having kept four consecutive clean sheets. Striker Percy Tao had one big early chance, lashing a ball straight at Nigerian goalkeeper Nwabali on the half-turn. Nwabali, who plays in the South African League for Chippa United, had an excellent first half, making one excellent save from Evidence Makopa, whose shot appeared destined for the top corner. No team has had more direct attacks than South Africa in this year's AFCON, and with Tao finding space behind Nigeria's high line on several occasions, opportunities continued to fall his way. One notably clear sight of goal, when he was 1v1 against Mwabali, was spoilt by a heavy touch. Though Makona's late penalty rescued South Africa's hopes, there was still a glorious late chance for them to win it in normal time. Makopa and Kaliso Mado grew in prominence, and the latter missed an open goal with seconds left after Makona's free kick was parried into his path, this brilliant tournament has been a phenomenal example of why you need to play right up until the final whistle. At AFCON 2023, it's not over until it is over and the final 10 minutes between Nigeria and South Africa was just the latest proof of this, the Super Eagles thought things were done and dusted when Osimhen tapped in Bright Osei Samuel's cross to make it 2-0 in the 84th minute. A brilliant team counterattack had led to jubilant celebrations. Nigeria were heading to the final, but then, a huge twist. VAR had spotted Nigeria midfielder Al Hassan Youssef had fouled Percy Tao in the other penalty area at the start of the move. The referee was called over to the monitor to watch the incident, and you could almost sense more than 200 million Nigerians holding their breath, after a dramatic wait, Osimhen's goal was chalked off. A penalty was awarded and Tebaho Makona duly converted for South Africa. A potential 2-0 win was turned into a 1-1 draw in the space of four astonishing minutes, wearing a black cap backwards and closely guarded by a member of Nigeria's coaching staff, Ademola Lukman tried to sneak past the media and straight onto their team bus. 
Yet Alex Iwobi and Ola Aina blocked his path, pushed him to speak, then watched from a few meters away like a pair of mischievous older brothers. Journalists flung their microphones and cameras in Lukeman's direction while Iwobi started cracking jokes, the situation became too overwhelming and the winger darted off before any questions could be properly asked, giving the reporters a brief taste of what defenders experience when they try to mark him. Production Z. Beba kubu. Beba nanyini. Mugu kwa chemifu anani. Ebele kumutido. Mu Uganda. Bakwa tafilo za nyimba. Ne mikolo. Mupeye nungi. Jukilo mkote kutibu amu. Bakwa effects planning. Digital marketing. Bakwa graphics. Owa video. Ne still video editing. Baila ne studio. He recording audio. Bapa kisa ni kamele zikuwa tafilimu. Video za nyimba. Ne commercial video Z. Ante beba kafuru. Mugu designing a website Z. Bakwa doch maker Z. Ne movie direction Z. Bwema jasa nito kwa live streaming Z. Kusasha media platform. Zona, <laughs> 